Hi, it's Mark Ganser, Technical Account Manager at EAC PDS. I'm going to show you a variation on a theme we looked at a couple of weeks ago. We looked at how to take one surface on a model, namely this one right here, and make it two different colors to show a paint keep out area. Now for a lot of folks that's you know fancier than you need. You just want to mark out an area on a drawing, either maybe you're doing it in a, um, a regular line drawing type fashion, you're not using it shaded. A different way of going about the same thing. Well, on any flat sketch, like the one you have on this top surface here, we'll edit that definition and show you that in any of these sketches, you've got an option in the sketch setup to add cross-hatching on there. So when you complete that, you've got this nice little hatched area. Well, as you move this around a little bit, you see the lines kind of, the hatching stays in place as the part moves. That's the first uh, way of telling you that really this thing might not be operating as you think it might be. So let's try that same thing projecting this sketch right here onto this plane, which of course is compound curvature, not nice and flat like the first one, and uh, see where that gets us. So we're going to pick that sketch. We're going to edit its definition to turn on that hatching. Again, we're going to the Sketch Setup definition, Properties tab. We want to add cross hatching. Same angle. And when we finish this, we have this lovely hatch sketch. That being said, hey, that looks like a great thing. Let's project it onto that surface behind it, like we did last time. And lo and behold, we don't get the cross hatching. Because really that cross-hatching isn't really sketched entities. It's just kind of a property applied to a flat sketch in viewing mode. Well, that didn't work too well for us, so let's try this a different way. Let's go back into that sketch and turn off that default style of cross-hatching. Again, we're going into the sketch setup. Properties is where you find that. We'll turn that off. Now there's another way of doing this. We can import sketched lines in there. What I've done in the past to do this kind of thing to make hatching is I've created a separate drawing with just a bunch of diagonal lines I can use. So I'm going to go to this file import. I'm going to pick this drawing of hatch lines I have. Open that up. And let's pick a bunch of these diagonal lines and say OK pick a point to put it on screen. You can see it places those hatches there and it's not exactly the way we wanted it, but that's fine. We've got this little scaling option. We can make it quite a bit larger. Make it just a little bit bigger. And now we can get rid of the bits we don't need. We can use just the regular delete segment trim tool. Do our first lap around the perimeter. Because of how that works, we've got a couple little leftover bits here and there. We'll clean those up. Depending on how many uh, grid lines and things you have, that can be a little annoying. Not the end of the world. But that looks pretty close to what we want. Now rather than that property we applied, these are real lines in the sketch. So let's accept that. Now when we pick this sketch we have, and we say we want to project that, pick that surface, and for neatness sake let's pick the uh, radius as well. Now we've got a real grid line showing that area, cross-hatched area, where we want to keep paint out. Now if we create a drawing that, using that model, let's do that real quick. We won't do anything terribly fancy. We'll use this model as our driving uh, model. Again, no format. Let's throw a view in there. Right in the middle, let's use the left-hand side, which will be looking at the front. And let's change to a no-hidden line. You'd commonly see that more on a line drawing. 
Make it a little bit bigger so we can see it. And let's turn off these datum planes too. Now you can see this actually shows up as a real sketched defined border you can attach dimensions to as a keep out. You can even go in and say I want to add a note to this, add my leader, attach it right there, and I can say no paint in this area. So it does the same kind of thing. You're defining an area where you want to keep out for plating or painting or anything else, but it's a little more of a drawing, line drawing uh, based solution than the two color solution we showed a few weeks ago. Now if you have any questions on this or anything else regarding Creo Parametric, Windchill or any of our other products, you can call your technical account manager here at EAC or your account manager and uh, we'll try and help you as much as we can. And with that, have a great day. We'll see you soon.